All right, this is Zach and Katie with Alpine Rescue Team. We're going to be talking about Al uh, oxygen delivery systems and oxygen safety. Uh, the first of your oxygen delivery systems you're likely to see is a nasal cannula. Flow rates for your nasal cannula can be anywhere from one to six liters. Most commonly starting is two to four. To connect a nasal cannula, the oxygen tubing will connect here on your regulator. You adjust your flow where you'd like to see it. Um, your cannula goes on the patient like this hooking over their ears and then you can adjust here accordingly just to make sure, just for their comfort. Um, the next delivery system you're likely to see is a non-rebreather mask. The flow rate for your non-rebreather is 12 to 15 liters. Some references will say as low as 10 liters. Um, again, connects here on your tank. Is applied to the patient like this. When you're when you're putting, after you put the, the, before you apply the mask, this reservoir bag needs to be filled by pressing down on this, once the tube oxygen is flowing through the mask, press down on the flaps and you should see the reservoir bag inflate. It's very important that that is inflated before you apply the mask to the patient because then they are pulling oxygen from the reservoir bag instead of from the ambient air and making sure that that flap is moving back and forth so when they exhale their carbon dioxide is clearing the mask. The third delivery system you can use with your oxygen tank is a, bit, is a bag valve mask, which also has oxygen tubing to connect to your tank. Flow rates for your bag valve mask will typically be 12 to 15 liters, and you would just apply it to the patient as you would normally and bag with oxygen flowing. With special things to think about when you're using your oxygen tank, I know that I have this sitting up between my feet. With that, I know that it's not going to fall over. Make sure that when you're using your oxygen tank, it's secured at all times so it's not going to fall over and that regulator could crack. Uh, also make sure when you're pressurizing the system that you don't look directly at the gauge in case there is a faulty a problem with the gauge and it were to blow out, you don't want those shards to end up in your face. Just be careful with your oxygen that it's secured at all times and it's safely used at all times because it can be very dangerous.